Hey, what's up? It's Paul here from Guitar World, and today we've unearthed a brand new species of chorus pedal. That's right. This current creature of swirl is the Eventide Tricera chorus pedal. Let's check it out. The Tricera Chorus is the newest addition to Eventide's Dot 9 pedal family, which includes the Black Hole, Micro Pitch, and Ultra Tap Stomp Boxes that have been streamlined in a more pedal board friendly format, but retaining all the sonic integrity Eventide is renowned for. So it's no secret the Tricera Chorus is inspired by the classic Ditronics Tri Stereo Chorus and many other popular Stomp Box choruses of the 70s and early 80s. What makes the Eventide Tricera Chorus a novel pedal is that it pairs stereo bucket brigade style chorusing with a proprietary micro pitch detuning to create silky modulation for all instruments, including vocals. The Tricera Chorus features three chorus voices and three unique chorus effects, which according to the company, can be used to create a wide stereo spread with pulsing waves of modulation. And frankly, I couldn't have said it better. This is truly a wide sounding chorus with incredible depth and one that's for true chorus aficionados. The Tricera Chorus pedal's three chorus voices, left, center, and right, are a three phase LFO that modulates the delay times and the depth, if you will. And when combined, these three modulated delays can create waves of wide chorusing across the stereo field, which cover the spectrum of some of the most popular chorus sounds you know and love. So what I love about the Tricera Chorus is just how easy it is to use. It may look like it has an intimidating control set because there's six knobs, but really they're just easy to use as long as you know what each one kind of does. Obviously the mix knob here gives you that chorus, vibrato, or choral effect. So the chorus pretty much gets you to that stomp box sound as I mentioned before. Choral gets more to that rack mount, more rich and more lush sound. Vibrato of course is vibrato. Rate just acts the same as a typical chorus speed knob. Rate of the chorus, obviously. And then over here is Eventide's legendary detuning, that chorus detune, which really adds an extra layer of wideness to the sound. And then, of course, adding in the left, center, and the right knob adds a bit of more depth to the sound. Now, if you just want to keep it more of a stomp box type of chorus, pretty much just knock these, knock the outer two and leave the middle one up. And here's the chorus sound, what I was talking about, more of that. Very popular stomp box chorus sound. Take a listen. And then of course, adding more detuning. You can hear how it changes the voicing. And then bringing in the left and the right back in, you can start hearing how it starts to become more rich. So that you can see how all the controls interact in such unique ways and really just giving you so many different choral, you know, chorus and modulated flavors. And now here's choral and get more of that. And then 
add some more detuning, changes the character. There's a switch up top here, which goes to the secondary function. So now, right now, all the controls in white are the primary functions of, of the Tricera chorus. But once you turn on the LED over here with this button, it goes into the second secondary functions. And under here with the black lettering, you can see is where you can get additional tone shaping and control. Like for example, you can hear, the filter changes sort of that. The frequencies. And of course that changes the pitch over here, so. It's a very useful tool if you want to get into some really coarse sculpting on this one. Now let me take you through the basically the five presets that are on here. Obviously you can save your own, but the factory presets are really, really good. And what's really great and novel about this, I love that Eventide actually gives you these little cards here, which takes you through each of the presets. And in case you, you know, override them and change them, and you wanted to bring them back, simply put this on and it gives you all the settings for each of the factory presets, obviously, if you want to get back to them really quick. A very cool little idea. Here's how to get to the preset mode. Simply hold the swirl button until the LED turns off, and then now you can just basically hit it until you cycle through the five presets you want. First up, as I mentioned before, is the Tricera one. When you find what you're looking for, simply click on that and you're on it. So this is a Tricera one. The next one over here is vibrato. Let's take a listen. Next one up is the faux verb. Next up is the slow flange, and this one's got a little bit of that slap act, which is kind of cool. And finally, this is the tail delay.
You can store up to five presets on the pedal and they can be accessed directly using the dual action, momentary or latching active foot switch. Up to 127 presets in total can be stored beyond that with accessibility via MIDI, using a TRS, or the Eventide Device Manager application, otherwise known as EDM. The rear panel USB jack provides a connection to a computer for use with EDM and for MIDI over USB control. Using the rear panel expression jack, any combination of tricenter chorus parameters can be mapped for expression pedal control. And alternately, the jack can be used to connect an external single aux switch or a triple aux switch for easy preset changing, as well as allowing MIDI over TRS control capabilities. The Tricera Chorus offers multiple bypass options, buffered, relay, DSP plus effects or kill dry, and the guitar line level switch allows level matching with guitar synths, effects loops, or DAW interfaces. And the pedal also features mono stereo ins and outs. Whether your setup for chorusing needs to be simple or complex, the Eventide Tricera Chorus doesn't disappoint in its trifecta of rich, deep, and lush chorus modulations that sound downright panoramic. Definitely check it out. Thank you.